Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Hope you're having a great day. Now today we're taking a look at the Charlie Paris Calendar. It's a pretty cool watch uh, from France actually, this one came in. Uh, they are a brand that, fe they actually have a lot of models on their website. I will leave a link down in the description below. This is their calendar watch, which is a pretty cool, um, unique watch. Features a day, a date, and the month as well as your standard time. And as you can see, that's the box that comes in in front of you. Well, what am I wearing today? Today I'm wearing the Oceanica OP1 on this beautiful NATO strap, as you can see here. Kind of nickname it the Superman, I guess. You got a uh, blue going on, red, and the white uh, markers there. So, yeah, pretty cool. So here's the box it comes in. As you can see, it's actually a pretty nice box. Let me take the watch away for a second. As you can see, Charlie Paris, that nice little bird flying. And when you open it up, it's pretty simple. Uh, just like that on a pillow. This clamps down. Pretty useful box. Pretty hard construction there. And yeah, not too bad. So here is the actual watch in the flesh, as you can see. This is one of their uh, models, and I think it was, you know, the kind of the most interesting model they had. They're actually coming out with a really nice kind of vintage-inspired uh, Explorer's watch, I believe, which is pretty cool. Anyway, this watch price point, we're looking at 674 US dollars, which I did some research from some other smaller brands using these same exact movements. And it's about the price point they're charging, so, you know, price point's okay with me. Let's take a look at some basic dimensions here. We have a nice 40 millimeter case. In terms of case thickness, we are looking at 13 millimeters. Kind of a pie pan, very circular case shape with these lugs that just drop straight down. So it wears, you know, pretty much exactly like a 40 millimeter watch there. Now this watch, obviously we have a black dial. It is a slightly sandblasted black dial. And it's very legible with those nice applied indices going around here. I like the applied bird over here right above Charlie Paris. And if I did not mention, these watches are assembled in France, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, not a lot of companies do stuff like that. Anyway, very simple watch, 3 ATMs water resistance, or 30 meters, so definitely not something to go swimming with here. We get a pull and push crown, of course. We also get a screw down pusher over here, which you might see on a water resistant chronograph. Um, I can think of such as a chronomat or something like that. But uh, that is used to actually change the month over here. So we have three sub-dials. This is obviously an automatic watch. It's already going. You see the hands sweeping there. Nice sharp Dauphine polished hands, uh, which are faceted. Looks uh, pretty sharp, very legible on this black dial, as you can see. Now the exact caliber movement inside of this watch is the Miyota 9122. So it's a 9000 series. It's a Japanese automatic movement. They're very reliable. It's actually the... A more advanced movement of the same exact watch I'm wearing right here. This is a 90S5, a dateless 9000 series. This is the calendar one, so this one's a bit more expensive, obviously. And it, as you can see on the right, we get our month. Uh, you can see there, which is printed in fine white text. On the left, we get your day of the week, which is actually in Spanish, which I found quite odd. And down here, we get our date, which is cut out in a window right below automatique. And then we get our time, of course. This movement is hackable. It is hand windable. It does feature 26 joules. It does beat at 28,800 or 4 hertz. It's relatively accurate on this model, about plus 5 seconds a day. I found the Muta 9 series movements to be very accurate. Um, way more accurate than in something like an Elabor uh, Swiss ETA 2824 from my experiences. Now I just want to show you how you actually function this. So basically, first pusher over here, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this. Very easy to unscrew, thread it nicely. As you can see when I click it, it will change the month, which is pretty cool there. Very useful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and screw that back down. So there's no pushers with a little like a, you know, a toothpick or something like that. Now the crown, first position, I'm going to pull out. And as you can see, if I go counterclockwise, I'm changing the day of the week, which is very precise. And as you can see, everything lines up perfectly back to the 12 o'clock position there. And then if I go the other way, we get a quick set date. And then your final position is just to set the time there. So it's fairly simple to use. It's a Decent complication for someone wanting to get into complications. And I think it's very useful. You know, who doesn't want to have the day, the date, and the day of the week on their wrist? So, now this is a sapphire crystal, of course. And as you can see, it is, uh, it does have some great anti-reflective properties there, which is always good to see, especially on a black dial. 
Now heading to the case back, we do get a nice glimpse of the movement. And as you can see, that's the Miyota 9122. Three ATMs written around here. The case back is screwed down. It is polished on the outer ring. And I think it looks pretty nice, you know. These movements are not bad looking. I do like the striping on these movements. As you can see there, you get some nice striping. Uh, you can see the wheels there. And that is the rotor, of course. And the strap itself. So it's a 20 millimeter uh, genuine leather strap here. Very comfortable, white stitching, very subtle white stitching. And as you can see, we do get those quick release bars if you want to change out straps. And yeah, all around, very flexible straight out of the box, no need to break it in. However, if you do have a large wrist, uh, I believe you will need to change out the strap. If you have like an 8 inch wrist, this probably won't fit you. But if you're in the, my league, like 6.5, 7 and a half inches, you should be no, uh, no issues there whatsoever. So, uh, there will be no loom shot today. But I will throw it on my wrist right now, show you guys exactly what it looks like. So there she is on my 6.5 inch wrist. As you can see there, it fits really nice. Um, as you can see, it does have you know, some height to it at 13 millimeters, but it is quite circular in shape, so it doesn't really appear too big from the top. As you see, it you know it fits straight across. But yeah, very attractive watch, very classy. Definitely can be used as a dress watch. Uh, the band is really comfortable and soft and supple. The buckle itself is just pretty uh, straightforward. I uh, kind of wish one little thing about Swatch, they would have signed the buckle here. Uh, it just seems kind of, you know, plain, in my opinion. But other than that, uh, I think they uh, hit it out of the park with this one. It's a pretty decent watch for the money. And if you're looking for this movement and the set of specifications, you're going to be paying around the same as uh, pretty much yeah, any other brand as this watch. So, you know, I can't see any issues there at all. So let me know what you guys think down in the description below. This is the Charlie Paris, the first look at this watch. And I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I will see you guys on the next video. I will drop a link to their website down in the description below. They have a lot of cool watches and some really cool ones coming out soon. So definitely check them out. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.